we always gonna work together, you know, coming from the same school. Uh, that's my boy, Swope Dominique. Uh, right now he's out and uh, I gotta be able to be the big person, step up, and uh, that's what I'm doing. What do you feel like you bring You bring with your running style? Um, to me, I feel like I have a, have a, a power slash speed. Um, I, I did put on a lot of weight, so I'm being more of a power back, but I still have my speed. We started off a little slow, but you know we picked it up as um, as the day went on. And um, at the end of the day, we uh, we did well. We did well, and I'm proud of the guys coming out here. You know, just battling through adversity, and uh, and we did well. Me and Jarek, we do a great job of you know coming out on the field and competing and uh, doing what we do best. So we, as we're out here, you know, we think about it when we're off the field, but when we're out on the field, we we just compete and we uh, we just uh, play. We do our we do our job. Do you dread having to talk to the media every time about how's the quarterback situation looking right now? A little bit, you know, <laughs> uh, it's just a repeti uh, uh, repetitive question, uh, but, you know, you just answer as best as possible and you just move on. Coach comes to you and says, all right, we're going to work you at slot a little bit, we're going to work you at corner a little bit. How are you going to respond to that? I'm going to say let's do it. I'm open to it. I'm uh, open to anything that uh, helps this team. You know, obviously, you know, Coach Coach Monk is the head man. He he knows what's best for this offense or the defense. And if you want me on offense or defense, that's exactly where I'm going to be. The defense did a great job at stopping the triple option. Um, like last week, like I said, um, they would get it fixed and they came out. Improved that day, they did a good job, but offensive-wise, I feel like we could do a lot of things better, so I'm going to watch the film on Monday and correct the things that we did wrong. Try not to think about it, just go out there and play the game and do the best that we can and construct an offense and scoring every chance we get. You get tired of hearing all the questions from the media about how the quarterbacks are looking? Uh, kind of. It's, it's a little wearing, but, uh, you know, it's a good thing at the same time. And, you know, just like I said before, not try to think about it, just go out there and play. Coach comes to you tomorrow, next week, and says, all right, move to slot, move to corner, wherever. What's your thoughts going to be? Uh, I'm cool with it. It doesn't matter to me on um, just anywhere that I can help out the team, you know, anywhere that I feel like you know, it be the best attribute for me and contribute to, contributing to the team. It was good to see was the uh, limit of big plays. Last week there was a lot of big plays by the offense and uh, – that was that was worrisome for sure, and and uh, on the same side, you know, there weren't uh, there weren't enough sustained drives on offense. That's worrisome, you know. And just we we've got to balance it out, and and uh, obviously when we play someone else, we we want our defense to to stop them and and not let them have anything. And on offense, we don't want to be stopped. So it's uh it's good to see in the spring both sides have some success and have days where they feel like, hey, things went pretty good today for us. And um, so the, de the defense did a nice job. The offense did some good things. The 99-yard drive mm -hmm. off the goal line was, was really, uh, I think, a great drive for those guys and gave them some confidence after getting, you know, sent off the field more than a few times by the defense. Kind of banged up. Uh, Brent was just talking offensive lines a little banged up. And I know at this point, you know, you're playing with a lot of guys that may not play in the fall. We are. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can get those guys healthy for fall camp and keep them healthy for the first football game. I'm not optimistic that all those guys are going to be ready for the spring game next week. And you end up with some freshmen, some guys that have never played that are in there with the twos. And we're using Dorian Bird as a center uh, just because there's a, a lack of bodies right now because of injury. Uh, but we've got some guys banged up on defense as well. They're the linebacker position with Eubanks and Cave out. So everybody's feeling it a little bit. And uh, you know, obviously our goal is to get them healthy. Does it make it tough to evaluate the quarterbacks when you're missing some key offensive people that would be around them? It is difficult to execute uh, efficiently all the time when you've got guys that have played or the best guys uh, kind of sitting out. It, it, it probably makes it tough on those guys, but we're able to evaluate those quarterbacks based on their athleticism and and uh, and we. You know, besides just this, uh, these scrimmages, we do practice during the week, and that helps us. And how is it looking right now? I, I, I really like both of those guys. I think both of them uh, are doing a nice job, having a good spring. Um, it would be difficult for me to say right now who the quarterback is. Um, but 
the good news is is that we'd be perfectly comfortable with either one of them as our quarterback. And we're not in the situation where we're, we're not sure who the quarterback's going to be because both of them stink. They're both good quarterbacks. And, uh, and there's, there's going to be opportunities for both of those guys when they're not in the ball game at quarterback to play another position. So I think probably it's likely that both of them will remain uh, at least a backup quarterback where they could go in the football game and not switch to something else full time where they don't practice under center or, or behind the center uh, at all. Does that hurt the other one though, that they're not going to get any reps in the spring at the position they may be starting at in the fall? It, it hurts uh, from a learning standpoint, but Mitch does such a great job coaching those guys at that position. He requires them to know what everybody else is doing. The blocking schemes, the perimeter blocking, the alignments, the splits, uh, he makes it their responsibility to get everybody lined up correctly on offense. So they have a lot more on them than a typical position player. It's a lot easier transition from there to another skill position on offense that's, that's, than it is from a, another skill position to quarterback, that's for sure.